So this is the fire pit. Yeah, we're looking for something to upgrade it. You know, this is sort of a temporary thing for us. It's getting old, it's getting rusty. We'd love to replace it with something more permanent. All right, well, you know, these fire pits can really run the gamut. Uh, they can be super inexpensive and just give you four or five fires a year, all the way up to something that's super expensive. A few years ago on the show, Jen actually put a fire pit together using four pieces of granite. So it was beautiful, but they can get pretty pricey. Yeah, we're not looking to go that high with the budget. Okay, so I know if we go down to the home center where they have these precast blocks, they're actually cut in such a way that they're gonna make a circle, which again is a desirable fire pit. So I think we should probably start there. That sounds excellent. All right, let's go. All right, so what we've done is I've taken the metal ring that we're gonna use when we're done, and we've used it as a template. And I laid the first course of block dry. That's gonna do a couple things for us. Most importantly, it's going to give us the location. You like where we are? Yeah, this is a great spot. It's set back from the patio and far away from the trees, so we don't have to worry about the fire coming up. All right, that's great. So the next thing is to dig. So grab your shovel, and what we're going to do is ding, dig around the block, and we're going to stay off the block by three inches. So once we're done making this cut, we're going to remove the first course of block. We're going to remove the ring and then we're gonna dig out our pit. So as we're digging, just make sure to save some grass because once we put our fire pit in, we're gonna need to patch our lawn into the block. So Mark, how deep do we need to go? The manufacturer wants us to go down two inches, but in New England, I like a little drainage, so we're gonna go down a little deeper, maybe eight inches. Right there. Right up. All right, now this is two inch trap rock, which is very good for our drainage. Why is it important that we have drainage underneath the pit? We get a rainstorm and water goes into the pit. We want it to be able to drain through the trap rock and into the soil and disperse itself. We're gonna wanna pack it with the hand tamper every two inches. How do you know when we're ready for the next uh, course? Uh, you got a minute to go. It's gonna feel uh, very solid. It's not gonna bounce the way it's bouncing right now. So keep hammering down. Flip it in. Great. So this is going to be our final course. It's the paver base, and all it is is a mixture of three-quarter inch stone and stone dust. All you're going to do is rake it out, and then we'll level it off. All right, so we're going to put our ring back in, and just like before, we're going to use this as a template because we're going to do the most important thing on the job so far, and that's set our first block, which is very, very important. We want to make sure it's level side to side. That's perfect, actually. We're going to go front to back, and make sure that's level. I gotta tap down a bit. All right, I'm level there. Now we're gonna level the whole first course off of that one block. Don't forget the next two courses go off of this. We're not gonna use the level too much on those courses, so that's why it's critical to get every single block as perfectly level as possible. Perfect. So what we've done is we've laid our second course, but we've laid it dry. So we're gonna peel back this block, call it our first block, and you're gonna give me some construction adhesive right across here and right across here, and I'll put the block back in. Now I'm gonna wiggle this one into place, and we're gonna do this the entire way around the rim. For the third course, we're going to do the same as we did for the second course, we're going to lay them in dry, and then we're going to use the adhesive. So now we're going to fill up the bottom of the pit with lava rock. You dump, I'll spread. All right, so the last piece of this whole puzzle, Jim, is just to take the grass, patch it back into the lawn, so like we were never there. 
What do you think, Jim? This is awesome, Mark. Thank you. We had fun today, right? We did. Yeah, I love it. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button to make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.